Hi, I'm Tom Ladd. We're here at the Midwest Nationals training facility in Springfield for the photo shoot of the 2018 Ozarks Baseball Preview. I'm here with cover selection Matt Elliott of the Willard Tigers. And uh, Matt, first off, congratulations. Quite an honor. Thank you. What does this mean to you? There's been some, uh, some great Willard players that have been honored by this uh, same thing over the years. Yeah, I know one of them has been a few years ago. Um, it's always been cool to look at the cover photo and think of yourself as one of them. So uh, it's pretty pretty high honor. Willard's had some uh, great baseball programs, great teams over the years, state runners uh, uh, a few years back. Uh, talk about the history of, uh, of Willard and what it means to you. Um, it's We've been pretty good the last probably eight or nine years. And uh, it's just good to continue that uh, history and be part of the next four years of Willard baseball. You uh, being a senior, you were uh, all Ozarks last year, all district and all conference uh, first team. So put up some good numbers as a junior. Yeah, um, we're undefeated and hopefully continue to do the same thing this year. Talk about your game, uh, pitch, uh, talk about the numbers and what you like uh, on the mound. Um, I usually use most uh, uh, fastball and cutter combination. Um, Sometimes miss, mix in a uh, curveball, but mostly just try to attack hitters away. Move the ball around a little bit, throwing the speed, the uh, the fastball. Yeah, you, we uh, try to go glove side most of the time, and then occasionally go in and up a little bit, try and back them off. But uh, we usually stay outside most of the time. Scott McGee is alongside. Uh, he's uh, in his tenth year. Or 11th year, yeah, 10 okay. years, so okay. 11 years at uh, Willard. Talk about this guy and what he's meant to you. Oh, Matthew's awesome. He's just such a, such a consistent kid and that's reflected in his pitching. Uh, you know, multiple times he'll, he'll be up first and second, nobody out. Doesn't, doesn't bother him a bit. He had a game last year. We had bases loaded, nobody out. He strikes out the side to get out of the inning. Uh, we've brought him in out of the bullpen in big situations. He started big games for us, and uh, we're, I'm really excited to watch him pitch the next, uh, hopefully, about 14 weeks. So. Well, and it does get underway. Uh, what about the Tigers? What, uh, what do you got coming back? What are you looking forward to? We've got Matthew, and we have another senior named Tanner Norris, who uh, th those two will lead our rotation. Um, we, we really feel good about the top of our rotation. I think it gives us a really good chance at some postseason success. Uh, you know, obviously, we've got the COC title to defend, and um, I think that overall our our, uh, our pitching staff will be will be a pretty big strength. Uh, we're going to end up playing quite a few young kids, position player-wise. We'll have to play several sophomores. They're really talented, but um, I really think by May 1st, we're going to be, be one of the better teams in the state. So uh, just have to, to put in that work over the next couple of months and, and keep progressing. Matt, uh, the COC, uh, there's no better large school conference in the state than the COC. How does that help you guys, do you think, prepare for postseason run? Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of uh, good teams in that conference. So, I mean, it's always like a uh, postseason atmosphere every time we play a game in that conference. So, um, it's just a big advantage to have like a uh, game or two to prepare you for that postseason. What, do you guys have a big rival in conference or, or maybe a non-conference rival? Uh, yeah, Ozark's always going to be tough. Um, last year we had a really fun game with them. Um, I'd probably have the same kind of atmosphere this year too. Well, they've got several players that were honored here today as well. You saw a lot of the Tiger, I mean, Tigers with you, but Tigers with them too here. Do you know a lot of those guys? I mean, were you pretty familiar with everybody? Uh, yeah, I know the two uh, seniors, Parker and Forrest, because I played against them for like 10 years probably. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, and I played with them this summer too. So, yeah, I have a strong connection with those two. Coach, those the is that the the big game coming up? You think? Yeah, it is. You know, I used to coach there, and and they do things. They do something similar to us, and our kids have always been really interested in playing against them, and it, it's just always been a great atmosphere. So, you know, re realistically, every game in our conference kind of means something to to our whole league. Uh, it's it's always fun when we play conference nights. As soon as you get done and you get on Twitter and and you're seeing all the scores, and nothing ever surprises you. You know the last place team can beat the first place team in our conference. It's kind of, you know, kind of like the SEC in that way. Like you, yeah. there's you're so prepared by the time you get to the postseason. Um, you know, we, Kickapoo is is a rival of ours as well. They play a similar style of baseball, and uh, we play them early in the season. And Rolla had a we had a great game with Rolla last year in districts. And uh, they return almost everybody. So uh, we know that's going to be a, a team that we're kind of looking at as the season progresses. 
that uh, Coach Essick coaching tree out there, yeah. what you're talking about. Matt, uh, you going to SBU, uh, talk about that decision, how that happened. Um, I went up there for a visit, and then two days later they gave me an offer, and it was one of the best ones I received. So, um, Plus I knew like four or five kids that are already going there from Willard, so uh, that will make the transition easier. And some pitchers. I mean, you got some guys that uh, be playing the same position you from Willard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dalton Morrow and Caleb Lasher are two that I talk to a lot. Um, they pitch up there. That is a good program. Uh, really turned the corner the last couple of years, right? Yeah. Um, they broke the school record for wins last year. So uh, they were doing good this year, and hopefully they can be better whenever I get there. Anything academically uh, you're looking forward to taking while you're there? Um, I'm going to try and major in uh, sports management. It's uh, You can do a lot of different careers with that, so probably start there. Coach, uh, talk once again about him and what you expect from him this season. Uh, Matthew, just come out and be his, his normal, competitive, determined self. Uh, pitch with confidence. Be a leader of our team. He's he's really grown into a leadership role. He, you know, he's not the most talkative guy. He's a lead by example kind of guy. And just to be the best version of himself is what we're kind of expecting. And and uh, I'm really excited to watch him, watch him, and and our entire team play this year. Matt, coach, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Congratulations on this. Thank you. Thank you. Again, that is uh, Matt Elliott from the Willard Tigers. He is a member of the 2018 Ozarks Baseball Preview cover selection. And I'm Tom Ladd for the Ozarks Baseball Preview.